بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته In the previous videos we have discussed very briefly about the tradition of Azadari and how Azadari is something that has been promoted and promised by the Prophet to his daughter Hazrat Zahra Salamullah Aliha. In this video we would like to discuss a tradition mentioned by Allama Rizvi in his book where Ibn Abbas is reported to have said that he was with uh, Amir al-Mu'mineen Ali alayhi salam when they were departing for the battle of Siffin. And I will read this out directly. He says, when we reached Nainawa and descended to the banks of the Furat, the Imam asked aloud, O Ibn Abbas, do you recognize this place? No, O Amir al-Mu'mineen, he said. Ibn Abbas said that he did not recognize this place. And of course, this place is where the event of Karbala was going to take place a few years later. So Imam Ali told Ibn Abbas, If you had been familiar with it, like me, you would not have passed through here without weeping as I weep. Ibn Abbas says, after saying this, Amir al-Mu'mineen wept for a long time and his beard became wet with tears and tears began to fall upon his chest, and we also wept with him. Uh, the hadith continues with the other things that Imam Ali says, and we will leave the reference for the hadith here. What I'm trying to explain in these videos is that the act of crying for Imam Hussein, because there is a movement that is going on saying that after all these years, after 1,400 years, there is no need to cry for Imam Hussein. And then some come with very modern ideas saying that instead of crying for Imam Hussein, we need to learn from uh, why Imam Hussein went to Karbala and why he stood up against Yazid. And of course, that is one of the purposes of Azadari. And that is one of the things that are needed for us to learn from these majalis. But the act itself of crying for Imam Hussein and the act itself of us gathering together in one place and of us listening to a speaker talk about Imam Hussein and us listening to the calamities that befell upon Imam Hussein and his family and his companions in Karbala and after Karbala. This act itself is rooted in the traditions of Islam. The Prophet cried for Imam Hussein. Imam Ali cried for Imam Hussein. Hazrat Zahra cried for Imam Hussein. And all the Imams after them have cried for Imam Hussein. And as I said in my previous video, it is an honor for us to be part of this tradition because as the Prophet promised Hazrat Zahra that there is going to be a community who is going to keep alive this grief that we have, who is going to keep alive the commemoration of Imam Hussein, and we are part of that promise. In this book that uh, Allah Marizvi has written, he has brought many, many narrations and we will leave the uh, references for all of them as I mentioned them one by one. The next narration that we have here is from Imam Ja'far al-Sadiq where he asks uh, Abu Harun to recite a marcia, an elegy, uh, to recite about Imam Hussein and Abu Harun says that obeying the Imam's command he recited the marcia. A marcia is recited so that the listeners can imagine what is being recited about. They can imagine what happened in Karbala and the calamities that befell Imam Hussein or his companions or his family. And then they can imagine it in their head, in their thoughts, and then relate to it and weep. That is the one of the main and I would say the biggest reason that we recite the Marcia, so that we can cry for Imam Hussein so that we can remember what happened in Karbala. These uh, Marcias and Nohas and Matams and Azadari, it is so that we can keep Karbala alive. It is so that we can weep for Imam Hussein. Of course, we need to learn from what happened in Karbala. We need to learn from the stance that Imam Hussein took against oppression. We need to stand up against the Yazids of our time. All of that is in its place, but those... Uh, so-called modern thinkers who now are saying that there is no need to cry for Imam Hussein after 1400 years and instead we should have scholarly debates and discussions about what happened in Karbala 
everything has its place. The scholarly lectures and scholarly debates and articles and papers are in its place, but the Azadari and the, I would say, the traditional form of Azadari needs to be in its place also. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you.